Welcome down to Nelson Golf Club, which as you can see by the zoom windy. is on the top of a hill and it's very windy. It's myself and the wonderful, well-dressed. Feels very, very windy. <laughs> Rick Shields. And you can see we have multiple layers on. This is not Spain anymore. We are in the heart of Lancashire, in the beginnings of the winter. Still looks nice though. It still looks absolutely Sometimes. gorgeous. What leaves, are we gonna... leaves are starting to drop, which is always a bit of a, a worrying sign. I mean, we've not had a warm up, so what are we gonna play, mulligans? <laughs> That's a game, right? As always. <laughs> um, I'm really on a tee that's gonna make this go out of bounds. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna to have to, I'm gonna to have to reset up Pro Tracer. Oh. So, sorry everyone. I'm on a bit of a tee where I'm sorry everyone. This is this is one of the big difficulties in YouTube and also playing with Rick. I've changed. <laughs> right, just write that marker is a good line. Just write the marker. Okay. We're on. It's a lowy one, but that's the one to play in this type of wind. What did you do? You don't see it? No. Uh, it just came off low. He should have left it a mark if it's on the fairway. Alright, fine. Worked out very, very Happy well. Happy days. Uh, so I really did see that. After you found the fairway, what, what are we going to play? Oh my god, that was so far from like here on the club. That was a just got out of the car, let's whack it away kind yeah, of tossing. We've, we've not prepared fully for this round. Um, what shall we play? Guys, comment in box, box below, what should we play? <laughs> I, think, I think because it's so windy, let's have a proper stroke play game. Oh my god, you're fast. <laughs> let's have a... Pete, let's be honest, we're trying to qualify for the Open. We're not trying to qualify it's for the... It's not windy at the Open though, is it? <laughs> let's do stroke play. Stroke play, right. Nine holes, let's see how low we can go. There's the title of the video. <laughs> it is up the left, but it's a great hit. Yep. So the green goes kind of once you get to the top of the marker it's a complete blind shot into the green so it's a trust so you might see more of the green from where you are it's a good shot How does it go left? right nice shot let's go to rick's balls and you can just about see the not really actually i'm lying to you guys you can just about see it from here yeah just see the top of the flag so the pins on the right side of this green tight right as well those trees just to the left before the green. Uh, all the way down the left side. Oh wow. Tell you what, this is not a good one if you're not warmed up, is it? We're zapping it from every angle. It's one thing you don't see on the course vlogs normally. We actually take 16 readings of each shot. I don't know. I think it's saying 131. 131. Well, the 150. The there back there. Yeah, it's 131. Yeah, 150. Yeah, it's about 131. Hit nine. See down there, a couple of mills as well. It's like, quite worrying when on some of the passes hold, you're we're higher up than some of the wind turbines. Love it. <laughs> Tell you what, it's a nice day to be up here. Beautiful sunshine for now. So I'm going to hit it in between the mark and the flag. What are you going in with? Wedge? Ah, just a nine. Nine. I think it's a bit into the wind. Yeah, definitely into it actually. It's been held up. Coming Just over those humps. Well, I can't remember. I've only played it a few times, Pete. Uh, this guy's, by the way, is Rick's favourite course in the world. I like it. So, right. Pete, just on the left side of this hole, um, but actually giving himself the, probably the best vantage point into the flag, you're going to just be able to make it out there. Yeah, I didn't. Uh... Me too, but it's worked out. Right. I said something on the tee if anyone is watching this as part of a learning experience to play this golf course, which we don't always advise. Um, I said, <laughs> You know, I don't think we've ever advised that. Actually. I said, Hit to the right of the marker, uh, where possibly the left of the marker is a better view into this hole. You know what? That's a disclaimer. I never listened to you anyway. So let's... Well, I didn't listen to my own advice. <laughs> I didn't even know where the ball went when I hit it. Wedge, 
Uh, yeah, I've only got 110 in, so. Well, this is your range. Knock down wedge. This is your range. He's saying, get on it, the cries. I've, we have no idea. Is it good? Uh, it looked good. It drifted slightly to the right at the end, but it should be good for distance. Just check out the... Uh, I don't know where that is, but it looks nice over there. It looks very nice. So Rick's actually held up here. I mean, if this was shaved down in the middle of the summer, that might have worked out okay, that one. It's a, it's a very unusual shape, this green, isn't it? Yeah, it's a... Uh, I was going to say like a kidney, a, but... Like I'd say it's a skull shape. Skull shape. It's quite a long skull shape. What's that famous painting, The Scream? I don't know who did it, but that's the kind of shape. Anyway. Da Vinci. Um, <laughs> how are you going to play this one? Well, I got the wrong club, didn't I? The back row. It's alright though. I mean, down onto the green. You'd imagine it's not going to run on too far. It's going to go 60 and land its ground top. Great vantage point from here. That was good. Very nice. Good shot, that, bud. Very well played. Nice touch. Touch for a big man. <laughs> so just a little shout out to Paul Massey who made me this mark. He actually printed it. Well, one of those three D prints. Three D printed it. And we've, we, me and him, are in a discussion at the moment of making the best ball marker that's ever been invented. If I'm not making YouTube videos in six months, it's because I'm a multi-millionaire from ball markers. Okay, so we've just been informed we may be being attacked. There's someone playing this first hole behind us, not aware that we're actually still on the green. We have been down here for 15 minutes, in fairness. Um, right, Pete for birdie. I'm just going to use a wooden tee for my ball mark. <laughs> hey, wait till, we, wait till me and Paul invent our, our new one. It will break. break I don't know what it will break. Break the ball mark. It won't one. break. It, it'll be guaranteed not to break, in fact. <laughs> It'll break the it'll break the golf industry. Okay, Pete for birdie. Slightly up the hill. Turn in, turn in, turn in. Oh, just a bit short. All those hours on the putting green didn't help you at all this morning. You are sorry. Those hour practicing on the putting green just didn't help. Well, I worked a lot on my visualisation on the way here. So all the way, all the way I was focusing on hole inputs. <laughs> right, for the for par, sorry. Crashed four times. <laughs> on the right edge. Easy, what a great up and down that is. Hard. Yeah. That's the next before we get hit. <laughs> Tell you what, playing stroke play. Stroke play? No warm-up, it's a secret. Video coming soon. <laughs> Second hole here. Oh, the sun just come. Oh, it looks lovely now. Framed lovely. Another skull-shaped green, as Rick said. 170 yards-ish. The par three, the pin's tucked back right. I'm going to hit a seven right into the mouth of the skull. Oh, you feed that skull, Shieldsy. Feed that skull. Start at the mouth and finish it on the right eye. View over here is amazing as well. Finish it in the right eye. That's gonna like it's going to sting. Hold it, get in. Oh, wow. <laughs> Talk about backspin. That was some, back. some control, that, mate. That was not too much club, unfortunately. That was, that was a seven, and that was too much. We'll just let this guy play through, and then we'll join you. Okay, so Pete, what are you hitting? I'm going to go one more eight. One less eight. Yeah. Well, whatever. <laughs> I'm going to go in an eight. So I, I called the shot, but I was just half a club too big. Yeah, I'm going to try the same shot. So into the mouth of the skull, Beating. slash nose, and then into the right eye socket. Oh, he's got left eye socket. Back, back edge of the green, but he's got a tricky putt from eye to eye. <laughs> yeah, I'm, on, I'm the cyclist on YouTube. <laughs> so 
we'll just let Gary th we'll just let Gary through and he's just hit it right into the heart of the mouth and he's got this put for par. Can he complete? More, more lessons required, I think. Yeah, he has lessons off Pete, not more me. Lessons required, Gaz. Well, I have one. Oh no, put in putting lesson. Yeah, I have, I have a lesson book with you, so I'll, I had to cancel it, but I'm, now I'm, I've got my movement back. I'll be there. That's what I like yeah, to hear. Cheers, See you, Gary. Okay, so Pete for birdie, he's back, we're both on this back fringe. We use the bank well. <clears throat> we're both on this back fringe. I was getting very mixed measurements for this uh, from this flag actually on the Bushnell, so whether we was at the back of the bank, I'm not sure, but we both got incredible control, but just for <laughs> the wrong point. Got to take positives. So Pete's going to come down off this little fringe, it's going to sweep down to the mouth of the green. I'm not sure how much break to give this, but... I think it's going to go a lot. Yeah, it should break quite a bit, Hold that line, hold that line, hold that line! Oh, misread. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, never miss on the underside. Oh, that was that was one of those guys that if you did hit the hole, it would have been fair bit past it actually bobbled a little bit on the fringe you know i thought my read was pretty good but it's one of them things leaving the flag in that's a controversial choice i didn't think you leave the flag in i might need it as a backstop they're really putting much well simple put in respects that it's straighter down the slope but it's going to be quicker than mine straight down however good chance i've got a natural aeration line Straight down the middle of it. It's a shame it doesn't go right through the middle of the hole, yeah. but... <laughs> Coming down. Hold on. Whoop. Faster than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, they are actually... I mean, you can see they've had some slits cut in though. I'm not sure if you can see it, but they're actually rolling very well, which is nice. Well, mind you, up here in the beautiful Lancashire countryside. What more would we expect? Both me and Rick are... Uh, I suppose, actually, you're not a Lancashire lad, are you? You're a Greater Manchester lad. I'm a Manc, me, Pete. Yeah, I'm a Lancashire lad. You can tell by my healthy, rosy complexion and love of pies. <laughs> God, I love pies. Yeah, to be fair. All, I've, all, lived, I've lived in Lancashire for long enough. All Northerners love pies. Yeah, but it's Manchester, not Lancashire. No, I think so. I think it's Manchester the, cricket grounds in Manchester. I think I think it's the Greater Manchester area. Guys, comment below. <laughs> Fishing for comments. Right, more up at the hill. That's two very good par puts so far, mate. You know what? This is two days after the Ryder Cup. It's the first time I've been on the course since the Ryder Cup, and after seeing so many putts <laughs> drop in the hole at the Ryder Cup. You get on the golf course and you think, actually, this putting lark is relatively easy. As long as you remember, you try and imitate the Americans, <laughs> not so much the Europeans. You know what, I reckon that feeling for you is going to last seven holes. I, I think I've expired it already. <laughs> That's two holes done. Okay, Pete to finish off his par. Came right off the face. I think I just did it. I was aiming a little bit right, I just did it too hard on it. Okay, to sweep off for his bogey now. Just did it too hard. That's annoying. <sighs> yeah, I'm I'm putting like the Europeans obviously today. <laughs> and we are on the third hole, par five. And you can see here, it just goes out into the distance. <laughs> Over that marker, this is the best slope in the area for, for when it snows. When it snows, we are up here. Oh, really? Honestly. Like it. Wait till you go over this hill. Now, that marker is misleading for a shot that goes over 200 yards. So, Rick is informing me you've got to go right. Like, quite a bit right. Okay. Hard to trust, actually. 
I trust you. No, it's, it's hard to trust myself. <laughs> People have told me not to, but I still do. Great view. Looks oh, beautiful, straight at it. My only saving grace, I did it too well. Does it go into trouble when it goes down that way? Or? Yeah, if you absolutely nut it on that line, it's out of bounds. Right, okay. <laughs> I think, I think I've, I've hit it bad enough. I've yeah, hit it yeah. poorly enough, and it's massively into wind. Yeah, you seem to be going left, but it also into wind, wasn't it? It wasn't going very far, no. So it's, it's, it's probably okay today. Well, I'm gonna. Like, I think this favours my flight, especially with this wind. You need to low a little fadey one off that marker, and when it gets on the other side of that hill, then it it's down there. Yeah. By the way, on the camera, it looks phenomenal. Hopefully, you're enjoying these views, guys. It looks beautiful. Might be too far right. What? <laughs> you went over there, mate. <laughs> Should be all right. Should be fine. You, you'll find it. Over the hump. Yeah. I want it to finish at the hump, not start at the hump. Take it all back. Never <laughs> trust him. <laughs> Never trust him. People have told you, Pete. Yeah. <laughs> Just coming up to the brow of the hill on this part of five, and it is beautiful out here. Look at this. I'm not entirely sure I... Oh! <laughs> Where are you going? So, Rick is here. The marker post is oh, there. The marker post has confused me again. I don't know. I mean, I did zoom in on the marker post. I don't know if it's hit the marker post. Oh, not again. Putting it too straight again on my... You sounded like Mickelson. Oh, don't hit the pin. Don't hit the pin. Seriously downhill. The hell's it ended up there? Yeah, so we look around here. That is the pin down in the dell there. There's a little bit of water before, but that's quite a distance from the green. How far you got? 230, but playing 195. 230, playing 195. I'm right back down to the right hand side there, just avoid the thick rough. Right back into the wind. There's a little ditch in front of the green, so I can't even run it down there. I'm gonna. Get Rick from this angle, then spin around. Four iron. Four iron. Awkward lie. It'll help you. Think positive. Brace in the lower half. Let's come out low. Oh! oh. What did that hit? Three. Oh really? Looks like there's a little bit of room down there, but we'll see. Okay, so Pete has found safe-ish land. <clears throat> this honestly is the weirdest hole. 204, but... There's a group of guys playing behind us who have absolutely demolished their drivers down the fairways. I'd like to ask them what line they hit it on. Uh, okay, what well, are you hitting? So, I'm just going to try and get a high. It's just a weird lie, though. It's kind of a bit muggy, isn't it? It's almost like semi plugged in the rough. So it's very thick, the rough. It's got a full high, but I'm going to hit down. Down and let the wind bring it back. Bring it back, wind. Yeah, not, level with the pin. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. I'm surprised it came out that well to be honest. It did, it come out very well. Got to Rick's ball in the trees and... Lucky. Yeah, pretty lucky. I mean, there's a line through there. Can't go directly at the pin, but... I can can't go... go over it. Can't go over it. Oh, sorry. No, it's fine. I mean, <laughs> I like <laughs> it. Look, I've still got, um, what's it called? Looking, search, looking for a... Something about a bear. 
Right, I'm gonna hit seven iron low, <laughs> chase up there. Like the video if you're as confused as me right now. <laughs> if anyone's got kids on the bike, don't know. <laughs> We're going on a bear hunt, that's what it's called. Okay, in the trees. <laughs> well, they go everywhere. Right, just chase it down there. I just need to miss that rough. Oh, that was great. Oh, I need to hit the rough more. Oh, it's just took off. It should be a... No, stop, stop. Unlucky that, really. An extra couple of ounces in the rough. Actually. Yeah, I've played that very well. Unlucky. Okay, so Pete Pin High um, played it well, actually. He's got a little bank to get over, but then not much down there. It looks like the green's going to slope from back to uh, front. And unlike the greens we've played so far, this is just a circular, just a circular. or slightly oval-shaped green. So yeah, I don't think there's much to it. It's downwind, which doesn't help, but just got to get it landed on the green and rolling down. Just Sit. It a touch too far. Just that for birdie? Just a touch too far. That for birdie. I was a bit heavy handed with my chip there. I left myself far too long of a putt, unfortunately. Rick's just beyond the green, chipping back up onto the slope then down to the pin slope like going to go a little bit right to left now if this was in the Ryder Cup someone would hold this <laughs> that's very well played lovely shot lovely shot I feel like I'm definitely filming this from the wrong side because this side looks beautiful. It's nice over there, isn't it? <laughs> this is your good side. I'm actually contractually obliged to film Pete from this side. <laughs> if you actually re go down into the description, guys, it's actually in there. It's funny because it's true. <laughs> okay, so Pete for birdie. See much in it? Should. Should. Come slightly. Slightly from the right to go back to level par. Oh. Wow. It you look you looked like Stenson after every putt missed. It was tracking lovely that. It was tracking. Uh, stroke play. <laughs> Oh, you can do it like that, I just think. So you won't want any tears. Oh, that's disappointing. Well, no, actually, no, it wasn't disappointing. Say a good putt. That's the new attitude. If you hit a good putt, it's okay. If you don't, if you don't go in, don't go in. You can't do anything about it. <laughs> that's what I'm telling myself. Happy thoughts. Another good up and down, that, mate. That's pa. Yeah. After all that adventure. Very, very good. <laughs> um, that's the end of part one. It is. And join the course, guys. Watching. <laughs> guys, guys, you there? Guys. <laughs> Anyone saw that? <laughs> I mean, look at this. I mean, how can you not enjoy such a lovely, lovely day? <laughs> such a lovely company. <laughs> so scores on the door so far. Rick is level part. I am a disappointing one over, but we've still got plenty of holes to go. Six in fact. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Nelson, for having us down here. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already comment below follow me on all my other social media platforms and of course please go subscribe and follow here, either tomorrow or it's not it's already on the channel peace channel peace